Since the very beginning of history, mathematics has always been a large contributor to the modernization of the world. Mathematical disciplines arose from the needs of mankind because even the earliest man that had to walk the face of the earth needed basic mathematical understanding to better comprehend how things made sense and how they could make the rest make sense. In ancient times, only the basic disciplines of mathematics were what mattered the most to the people. Monuments were built, calendars were created, lands were surveyed, and taxes and commerce were controlled. Even without exploring the theoretical side of mathematics, problems were still fixed even with only the ability to count and calculate. But that's just one era of mathematics. Through the years, more units of measurement were developed. Decimals, fractions, and notations were invented. And people were knowledgeable enough to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Mathematicians before merely just understood little algebra and were only capable of solving linear and simple quadratic equations, yet their efforts led the world to how it is to this day. Mathematics is the driving force that helps us understand how the universe works. Why, you may ask? In the year 1632, a man particularly named Isaac sat under an apple tree for shade from the clearing sun, cutting him from his thoughts. An apple suddenly fell to his head and he asked himself, What force of nature made the apple fall on me? The apple could have just floated, remained attached to its tree, or moved upwards instead. But it didn't. How could this possibly happen? Through deriving mathematical equations and measuring measurable quantities, easy act discovered gravity and laws of motion. But how about mathematics from a different perspective but in the modern world? How do younger individuals see mathematics? A mathematics teacher raised a question to her students during their self-introduction on their first day of class. How would you define mathematics? The younger students of today will simply define it as a set of numbers that mathematicians use to solve mathematical equations using a variety of mathematical formulas. But is mathematics all about numbers? Does it limit itself to live by that certain definition or does it go beyond our imagination? Perhaps the younger generation hasn't even imagined that mathematics has already been with nature this whole time. Considering a biologist, for example, for someone who has been working with nature as a profession, does she see mathematics the same thing the younger generation does? Is mathematics all about numbers and nothing more? It's a lot different from my perspective. Mathematics is not only about the value of x and y, the multiplication of 9 and 10, or the relationship between a and b. Perhaps mathematics contributes to our understanding of the certain patterns she is found within nature. It isn't labeled as a universal language for nothing. If you had an opportunity to observe even the smallest details in nature, you would have seen geometrical and symmetrical shapes and patterns and spirals. Perhaps you have seen some on leaves and tree barks, honeycombs, seashells, spider webs, and even on pins of animals. Are they labeled with numbers? No. Is there any written mathematical equation on their surface for us to solve? No. But they were made under the influence of mathematical principles. Mathematics is considered as the universal language. It also creates a channel for us to be connected to the nature. Some concepts of mathematics may seem useless in the eyes of the uncertain. Some people said that, aside from the basic addition, subtraction, and division in mathematics, the rest of mathematics is a waste of time to learn. But they are not. A truth table. At first glance, we may think of it as a necessary. How are we supposed to use a table like that at work, right? How are you going to use it when we're buying groceries? If P implies Q, is it true or false? What are we getting after we get its true value? As unconvincing as it may sound, but with a table like this, fallacious statements are detectable. How about the golden ratio? Does it ring a bell? Have you ever wondered how our architectural structures always had a sense of balance and equilibrium? 
how historical monuments were aesthetically pleasing to our eyes at every glance? Perhaps the average man would initially think that mathematics has no involvement in architecture, but it does. What about mathematics in the eyes of the ordinary? How relevant is mathematics in our life? Notice how most activities that we do daily require basic calculations and rational thinking. When you're in a tight schedule and aware of time, how will you verify that you have enough time to accomplish your tasks? At a clothing store, you're contemplating buying a shirt that is 50% on sale. How are you supposed to know its price if the 50% discount is applied and taxes are added to your bill. To bake a cake, a recipe you found online stated that you need 3 tablespoons of salt yet you only have a teaspoon available in your kitchen. How many teaspoons of salt are you putting in to achieve the 3 tablespoons needed? How are you supposed to know the number of kilometers and the amount of petrol you'll be needing when driving to your destination? Simple. Mathematics. There's something very mathematical about our universe. Everything just leads us back to mathematics because it's the basis of everything. Notice how in every branch of science, their basis is mathematics. Not to mention, but statistics, economics, history, social sciences, music, and literary and visual art also incorporate the disciplines of mathematics. It generally plays a vital role in any theory of everything. Mathematics is one of the main reasons why the universe is shaped like it is today. Everything is mathematical, and by everything, including you. Tell what we're saying. 